Hey guys, I have got one full day, well half a day, in Malaysia. I just landed in Kuala Lumpur and uh, let's check this place out. And here is the room. It's very nice. What I like about the lights here, you can just turn them off with this touch sensitive panel right here. Let's put everything on. Uh, my gimbal has no battery, so sorry if the video is a bit shaky. King size bed, very nice. I do like that wallpaper. TV, plenty space for your bags and all that kind of stuff. Nice comfortable desk, uh, chair, uh, the view, not too bad, a lot of green in this city, that's what I like to see, cities need more green and this city is doing it well as it looks. And uh, another big mirror here, nice high ceiling with LED lights diffused by being hidden. That's very nice to see. Let's take a look at the bathroom. Well, we have no bath, but we have a, a walk-in shower. And a place to sit. Marble, is that real marble? I think it is. Very nice. Sink here, you get some toiletries and uh, soap, etc. Toilet here. Yeah, a very nice room. Now let's go out and see the rest of the city. We are currently gonna go and see the second highest building in the world. We're gonna be right at the base of it. It's the Merdeka 118, which is not too far from where I am right now, but I'm gonna have to get a train to get there. So let's find out. I think it's the MRT. There we go, MRT. Malaysian flags everywhere. This wonderful girl here just told me how to get the train to the Verdeco building, so yeah. thank you very hey, much. Okay, welcome to Kuala Lumpur. Oh, thank you so <laughs> right. much. Okay, and then you kiss her. Thank you so okay. much. You're amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. and beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. I just love this bench right here, this geometric style bench. Yeah, a lot of people probably think I'm crazy for videoing the bench, but it looks really cool. Oh my god, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got you, I've got you, okay, okay, thank you. Is he okay? Yeah, is this your, your husband or something? Uh, no, 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 oh, okay, a stranger to me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Are you okay, sir? No, I was just recording the area just as well I was here. <laughs> because he, he cannot walk properly. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Oh. Are, are you okay, sir? I hope, hope you don't mind I'm recording. Thank you for your help. No, no problem. <laughs> Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Well, I was there on time to help that woman save the guy. God, poor soul. I hope he's all right. What actually happened back there? Uh, when the guy kind of like almost fell on his back on the escalator, the nice woman back there actually just grabbed him and like you know saved him. And then I stepped in and I also helped. But then she actually uh, took his arm and like actually guided him away from the area and. Uh, and made sure that he was okay. And, I mean, after living in Japan for so long, uh, that would never happen in Japan. <laughs> so, yeah, people are nice here. This 
seems to be where everyone hangs out. This is a uh, pavilion, Kuala Lumpur. This place is alive. This is Pavilion Kuala Lumpur. It is just absolutely crazy. There's just, I mean, it's kind of similar to like places in Tokyo, but um, there's a lot more diversity here. See, in Tokyo, it's like 99.9% .9 like Japanese people, but like here, you just got a mix of like, uh, everyone really, it's just a big melting pot. This seems to be some kind of uh, Arabic kind of area with the hashish. I mean, this is an Islamic country. Oh, very nice kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, and people are nice here. Like, people are really open and like, uh, people are like willing to actually speak to you. Unlike Tokyo, I'm gonna compare in this place to uh, Tokyo and Osaka. But yeah, so this place seems kind of just friendly and uh, just kind of like easy to engage with people. Let's check out what I see right now. This is uh, all kinds of stuff here. Fahrenheit, apparently, this is like a big shopping. Emporium. Uh, let's take a front view. Star Hill. So, uh, pavilion. Here we go. A lot of tourists here. That is a, a very interesting black car. Guys with the balloons, balloons with freaking unicorns in them. Wow. <laughs> Got this beautiful fountain here. This is just, this is gorgeous. Pavilion crystal fountain. Wow. Very nice. Pavilion. Typical city stuff that you get everywhere. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, dodgy deals happen around here. If you know what I mean. Let's check this place out even more. Pavilion. This is the main entrance of the place. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go inside. I'd like to get one of these, drive it around. Very nice. Security guards. Hey man, how you doing? Hi. Hey, do I have to wear a mask inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it? Okay. Can I just, sorry, can I for my vlog? So I just arrived to Malaysia today. Yeah. And I don't know what the rules are really. Uh, do I have to wear a mask inside? And outside? Outside? Can we your set outside? Outside is okay. Yeah, yeah. No mask okay. But inside you must wear inside, it. Inside you must yeah. wear a mask. Okay. Yeah. And can I can I use this? No. <laughs> Only you can get it. No? <laughs> okay. Oh thanks a lot guys. Actually, okay. Actually, if you are on the outside, it's yeah. optional. If you want to wear a mask or not. Oh it's optional, it right. It depends on your service. But inside you inside, have to wear a mask. Yes. Okay, I'll respect that Thank and I'll wear a mask. You. The mask is on, can I go inside? Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> hey man, how you doing? Can I record? You wanna say hello? Hello. Yeah. <laughs> thank you man. Uh, I don't know who this person is, but apparently she's famous. Can I get a selfie with you? Oh, thank you so much. It's actually a video, but can you oh, say okay. hello? Hi. Hi. Are you an actress? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, what, what's your name, sorry? Risha. Risha? Yeah. Oh, nice, Risha. To, nice to meet you, Risha. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Yeah, I just met a famous person. I don't know, I didn't know she was famous, but uh... Wow, cool tattoo. Anyway, 
Everything is just so exciting here, like, it's crazy. So this is your kind of high-end place. I don't know why, like, people are, like, standing around watching something. What's going on down here? Can I just put my camera over? Oh, it's like a fashion show or something. Oh, wait a minute. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold. Wow. Okay, this is an incredibly exciting place. Go out and actually eat something. I'm actually really hungry. I don't know about you guys, but I find it incredibly intriguing that amongst all of this modern development, you have this beautiful tree that's uh, obviously very old, and it's been standing here for probably a very long time, and they've just uh, you know developed this area but they've left this tree alone that's uh that's something quite beautiful and of course you've got the uh palm trees yeah kgb now selling burgers instead of secret intelligence thanks russia right, box plus. what is this place I've got no idea what this place is, but I'm just going to walk in and record. Nice lighting. Wow. Just went for the Nanyang milk tea and I felt like some noodles, so I went for the um, chicken noodles and soup right here. That sounds pretty good. And they've also got some curry, but I kind of had curry last night, so... Yeah, this place looks good. It's called the uh, Nanyang Cafe. Also, this tea is actually amazing, by the way. It's like a... it's kind of like a chai tea. Very good. And the noodles. Let's try the noodles. Such a gaijin way to eat noodles. Here we go. Actually, very good. I like this place. I like the staff too. They're very casual, but friendly. For any Brits wanting to travel here, they use this type of outlet that we use in the UK. I just had to order the wontons. Nangyam Cafe, thank you very much. Bye. See you. Thanks. <laughs> that was the Nangyam Cafe, yo. Yo, what am I speaking like in America? Yeah. <laughs> Nangyam Cafe, that was very nice. Staff are very friendly, very uh, cheap actually. That was like, um, that was like 10 pounds for like, uh, got like two drinks actually. I got the, the Nangyam tea, lemon tea, noodles, wontons, 10 pounds. That's really cheap. That's really cheap, especially for this building where the rent is probably quite big. Anyway, oh, there's a Lego store. Nice. You can't skip the Lego store. When you see the Lego store, you just gotta check it out. Frickin' Titanic. Okay, this is the biggest Lego store I've ever been to, seriously. I mean, look at the size of this place. Lego stores are usually quite small, but um, this is really big. Okay, yes, I am pretty childish when it comes to Lego. I love Lego, always have loved Lego. All right, I mean, just look at that, man. That is awesome. In fact, they never had any logo, Lego, logo, Lego like this when I was young. You know, they've got all the uh, collaborations now. They've got Mario, they've got freaking Disney. It's all the collaborations that are uh, really making Lego popular again. So 
down there is where all like where it's all happening. And I just walked down this this path. And what do I see over there? Yeah, that's the Petrona Towers. The Petronas. That's where we're going now. We are going to the Petronas. Damn, this place, the city, Kuala Lumpur, it is just full of life. You know what I mean? It's just full of of course people, noise, traffic. But Judging from what I've seen back there at the pavilion or pavilion, whatever that area is called, like it's just just full of like positive energy, you know? That's what I really loved about being back there. Right now we're walking to the Petronas, which by the way, I've always wanted to see. Uh, I remember uh, when I was really young playing Hitman uh, 2 with my friends and one of the missions as Agent 47 you are uh, sent to Malaysia to take out a particular target in the Petronas <laughs> and then you see the Petronas um, and it's just so awesome like and I, I've just always wanted to see these buildings that I've noticed about a lot of the fuck, cars here is they have uh, tinted windows like that you see so many cars have tinted windows for some reason where's the other one very nice little park within the KLCC Kuala Lumpur city centre Trees just quite tall actually. Very beautiful. I love it. So this is an Asian city that's doing something right by just keeping the nature, you know what I mean? And giving it some light as well. Gorgeous. Look at the height of these, the Patronos, man. Jesus. You know that scene in Entrapment when uh, Catherine Zeta Jones and Sean Connery are up there? <laughs> oh, awesome. These buildings are absolutely stunning. Inside of the Patronos, it just looks like this. Very nice. I don't know if I'm allowed here. No. <laughs> I'm not allowed here, but I'll record here. As you can see guys, I'm absolutely sweating. <laughs> like, it's really hot and humid here in uh, Kuala Lumpur. All year around actually. And right now I'm at the MRL, uh, which is the monorail station. I'm not sure which station it is. Here we go. Bukit Nanas station. And we're going back to KL Central which should be only about a five minute journey or something. Gotta get back to the hotel, have a nice cold shower. Passengers to disembark from the train and please look after your belonging and beware of pickpockets. Thank you. guys how you doing I slept ish and uh, yeah as you can see I've got the gimbal working so I've got nice smooth footage for you guys uh, yeah it's 6 30 in the morning and I'm uh, gonna go down for breakfast and it's crazy good still uh, still dark outside as if it's like midnight or something <laughs> so 
I'm used to the sun coming up at 5 a.m. at this time of the year in Japan, so. Uh, right, so let's go down, check out the breakfast, and uh, yeah. Let's see why the breakfast is expensive. What a nice selection. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you very much. Excellent. This hotel uh, this hotel is absolutely stunning, seriously. The rooftop pool, surrounded by green and nature, but you're like in the middle of the city. It's a very well designed place. my Kuala Lumpur trip guys and I definitely want to come back here after experiencing a night in this place and definitely will go back to the same hotel the Meridian thanks a lot for watching guys stay tuned for more videos